the Welsh countryside is one of the most diverse farming areas in the British Isles. Its open fields and rugged hills allow many facets of the agri-sector to flourish. Some new and novel ideas are appearing, and Bryn Perry is a dairy farmer, not with cows, but sheep. Sheep dairy for me is an avenue for, for future farming in Wales. That's why I got into it in the first place. Um, it's, it's, it's on the whole a sustainable product. Um, it's nutrient dense. Uh, all of our sheep are grass fed, so we're trying to do as much from grass and less feed concentrates bought in and things like that. So um, with the right support and the, the right, the, the right uh, outputs that are there, um, there's a, I believe, and the Welsh Government I know are looking into it at the moment, a, a good potential for sheep dairy in Wales. Here at the Nevern Show, opinions are easily found, and John Hicks sums up the issues on Welsh farms. On the outside it looks quite rosy because uh, the price of milk appears to be high, but people don't take into consideration the cost of producing that milk. Uh, our feed bill has basically doubled, fertiliser trebled, and we are getting roughly about 30% uh, more for our milk. So. Uh, massive loss there. A joined up policy throughout the UK is being called for, but Stephen Kurtz believes regulation already in place can help. In terms of all the four home nations, there is the common frameworks, which means that not one country can deviate too far away from what another country is doing to give them an overtly competitive advantage to a neighbouring uh, home nation. So there is some sort of commonality within that sense. But everybody must remember that without farmers, without food producers, we have to import more of our food, potentially from areas which don't have the same environmental standards as ourselves and the same animal welfare standards as ourselves. Stephen Crabb is the local MP and is not opposed to having some sort sort of manage markets. The danger when you just fling open the doors and say let free markets rule and run rampant is that um, the global markets can be a pretty unforgiving place and certain sectors I do think do need to be cushioned and, and protected uh, but that doesn't make you make me an economic nationalist. I still believe in markets but it's about being pragmatic and striking the right balance. A new generation of farmers is now appearing and Carol Davis sees some positives on the horizon. I think the market is fluctuating a lot recently and we lamb quite early so we can sell our lambs quite early but sometimes that doesn't always work out because the market changes so drastically from week to week. But I do feel like maybe we as young people or um, um, different businesses within the industry could be uh, working at marketing and I think this has been something that's going on for ages but marketing the lamb is so important now. Nessie Reid sees a future but believes it's all about the diversity and marketing. I think as a small producer, especially in West Wales, you're having to constantly um, come up with new ideas. You're having to constantly um, yeah, be really, really adventurous. And often you can't just have one business. So we have the cheese, we have the cows, we have the distillery, we're thinking about camping. You know, it's this idea that like, if you're a farmer and you want to make money, you set up a camping business. It's, it's very hard to be a small producer in West Wales. And so you're always needing to think about your social media, getting your message out, marketing. You might have the best product in the world, which we think we have, well, I think we have, but you have to market it. And if you don't market it, then you might as well be selling, uh, you know, popcorn. Doogie Beattie, GB News.